Jacob Gilliam, Master Tech here. We're going to change out the directional valve, the hydraulic directional valve, out of a high security slide driver. The part number is what, an MX000172, I think? Make sure the power to the machine is toggled off. If you don't have this switch here, then make sure it's set off at the breaker box. So you don't want to work on a hot machine. It's quite simple. So you remove this nut that's holding the solenoid on. I've already loosened it just so you don't have to watch me wrench on it. The board literally just applies power to these two wires and it pulls the valve out, you know, or allows it to slide back in. You can set the solenoid down here in the bottom of the case of the operator. It, it doesn't put any strain on that cable, not that I've ever encountered. Uh, so you don't really need to remove the power wires from that solenoid. And that solenoid is literally moving a plunger inside this pin here that's changing the, the flow of the hydraulic fluid in here. That's literally how it changes the fluid flow to your pumps here to change which direction the gate's sliding. So sometimes a little hydraulic fluid will come out, so I'll actually take a, like a couple paper towels, fold them up in a small square, and put them down here. Put it down here at the base of this canister, and then I prepare with a couple in my hand. Just unscrew this directional valve. See, see not too much fluid. Just a little. There's a there's a pin or a rod in there in the center of that that's spring loaded. Okay, but we already had a problem with this before, to where it sticks and jams, and I've cleared it out a couple times. Now we're just going to replace it. Okay, just want to keep it clean. Try not to get any debris in there and contaminate the hydraulic fluid. Slide that into. The valve assembly. Reseat it. I won't want. I won't make you watch me wrench on it. So I seated that. Just reverse the process. Slide the solenoid back over that pin, and put your retaining nut back on. Don't over torque this nut. It's just keeping it in position. It doesn't have to. It's not like you're torquing down the head to an engine block. Okay. Clean up your mess. Time to test your work. Turn on the power. Wait for it to boot up. High security. And see if it closes. There we go. And if you don't want to miss another one of my videos, don't forget to ring that bell, baby. Y'all have a nice day.